The next control source we will look at is a current controlled voltage source. So, it has a controlled voltage source whose value is given by current flowing elsewhere. It is common to think of a wire in which a current is flowing. Basically, there is a short circuit between these nodes N 1 and N 2 and this can be placed in series with any branch to sense the current in that branch. Those things we will see later when we come to circuits in which this current control voltage source is used. Okay. So, let us say the current is I x, then the voltage across these two terminals is given by R times I x. This proportionality constant, let me denote this by R m, this proportionality constant is many times called the trans resistance. Okay. Obviously, uh, this has dimensions of resistance, because it multiplies a current to result in a voltage. Okay, and it's called the trans resistance of the current controlled voltage source. Okay, again the relationship R m times I x tells you that it is linear. So I won't go through that. this is indeed linear and what does this mean? It means that, so let us say we have a control source defined like this. With R m being let us say 2 kilo ohms. So, that means that if you connected a 1 milliamp source like this, you would measure 2 volts across these terminals. Okay. Now, this uh, the input branch which is really a short circuit can be placed anywhere in the circuit to sense the current. Okay. For instance, Let us say we have a circuit like this, a 1 volt source connected to a 10 kilo ohm resistor. We know that 0.1 milliamp will flow through this by Ohm's law. Okay. Now, let us say I do this, I break this here and connect it. to a current controlled voltage source, the same one let us say with R m equals 2 kilo ohms. This is I x and this is R m I x. What does this mean? Across this, I will measure 2 kilo ohm times 0.1 milliamps, which is 0.2 volts. Okay. So, that is the meaning of this and typically you do not show this breaking of the connection and inserting it like this and so on. The way this circuit will be normally shown is simply as follows. We had this 1 volt and 10 kilo ohm, this could be any circuit anywhere. Okay. Now, the input wire or the input branch of the current controlled current source is placed in series with the resistor to sense its current. So, what is normally done is to simply label this as the current I x and have a voltage source V x which is defined as have a voltage source which is defined to be R m times I x. Okay. So, this is how it is usually denoted.